Nitrogen is one of the most important nutrients for plant growth. Synthetic ammonia is the most common way to provide nitrogen to crops, but it is primarily produced with the use of fossil fuels. The West Central Research and Outreach Center's Renewable Energy Team is working with what is believed to be the world's first wind power to ammonia plant to find a more sustainable way to make nitrogen fertilizer. The goal of the project is to use wind power to create hydrogen and nitrogen, which can then be mixed together to create ammonia. The reaction process requires electrical inputs, but these also come from wind power. The process begins in the hydrogen and nitrogen production building. Here, wind power runs generators that separate hydrogen from water and nitrogen from air. The conventional process uses methane in fossil natural gas to generate the hydrogen required for ammonia production. The gases are then compressed and stored in tanks outside the building. The red tanks contain hydrogen and the green tanks contain nitrogen. This is the reaction chamber being loaded into the production room. It may look complicated, but the reaction process itself is pretty simple to break down. First, the stored gases must be compressed before they can be sent through a heat exchanger. Because gases pass both ways through the exchanger, Heat from hot gases can be recycled to colder gases. Next, an electric heater brings the gases to the right temperature before they enter the reaction chamber. Inside the chamber, an iron catalyst drives a reaction that creates extra heat that will be recycled in the exchanger. Now, the hot ammonia-containing gases pass back through the exchanger on the way to be chilled and separated. In the chiller section, the gases are brought down to about negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit before entering the separator. The final step of the reaction involves pulling out the ammonia and sending it to storage. Around 17% of the reactant gases form ammonia, so the remaining nitrogen and hydrogen re-enter the process flow to take part in more reactions. With efforts like these, the West Central Research and Outreach Center plans to provide a cheaper and more sustainable form of ammonia fertilizers to help farmers save money and continue to produce good yields. And that is how the Research and Outreach Center is pioneering green hydrogen and ammonia production.